आणि दानमांस काउंट डाउन टू किक ऑफ हेड टू हेड प्रेजेंटेड बाय ओल्ड नेशनल बैंक रिवर्स सेट्स अप थ्रोस लेफ्ट साइड इज दैट पास विद द 5 यार्ड लाइन लुकिंग फॉर द पायलॉन All right, we're back here live on Countdown to kick off. Now it's time now for Head to Head. Each week we debate hot topics buzzing around town and the league. So let's welcome back in our Colts insider, Zach Kiefer, right there, ready to go. And who won last week? Was it, was it Zach? Um, I think Zach won. Zach, you, you took care of business. You guys should know. Zach, you won this thing last week, right? <laughs> All right, so um, question number one. The Colts have had eight different pass catchers lead them in receiving yards through the first 14 games. Who will lead the Colts in yards today? Ken, I'm going to start first with you, man. What do you think? I'm going with uh, Zach Pascoe. He's got the hot hand right now. I think uh, the, the Pittsburgh defense is going to try to take away T.Y. Hilton. They're going to double him with Minka Fitzpatrick, the All-Pro. So I think Zach Pascoe is kind of that veteran receiver behind T.Y. to get uh, a, lot, a lot of the uh, passes today. All right, so you're going with Zach Pascoe, and you called it last week. You said he's got a big, big game he's last week. He's got a big game, and he came through for and me. He had a massive game last week against the Texans, so you're going with Zach Pascoe. Which some people didn't really believe, but mm -hmm. uh, that's okay. All right, we know you're talking about Zach there. <laughs> All right, Zach, uh, who are you going with today, man? Who's having a big game for the Colts? Hey, I got to give Ken credit. He nailed it on Zach Pascoe last week. Last week. Two touchdowns. Got to give credit where credit is due. But the answer is T.Y. Hilton. If you're giving me every option at receiver right now, I'm going with the best receiver of the bunch. He has stepped up in a big way in December. It's always going to be T.Y. Hilton. He's healthy for the first time in three years in December. He's had a 155-yard day against the Steelers in his career. This is going to be T.Y. Hilton over the middle all day. 13 is the answer. I think with both left, both tackles out, uh, I don't see uh, Rivers dropping back and throwing the ball much to T.Y. He's going to get it out quick to his running backs today. So look for them to have a big day. Mm. All right, you know, Zach loves T.Y. Hilton, by the way, in case you didn't know. <laughs> big, big fan of T.Y. T.Y. That's the facts. You know that, Z. All right, question number two. Uh, Philip Rivers hasn't thrown, how about this interception, in three straight games. On a scale of one to ten, how confident are you that he'll extend that streak to four games today? Zach, you're up. I'm only going to go a five here, and here's why. The Pittsburgh Steelers take the football away better than any team in football. They're number one in takeaways right now. The Colts are two. They have a great secondary on this front. Nika Fitzpatrick, Joe Hayden, they have guys who can steal the football away. Rivers has gone a long time. I think we're going back to the Tennessee game where he hasn't thrown an interception. This was a problem early in the season. He's cleaned it up. He has full command of the offense. But I think the issue with me is the tackles being out today. That's going to speed him up, probably put him in some uncomfortable situations. I think he might throw an interception for that. All right. What do you think, Ken? I'm going to go even less than that. I'm going to give him a three. I think with both tackles out, I think the uh, defense is going to put pressure on Rivers to try to throw the ball deep. You know, can the Colts hold out for three seconds to give Rivers some time to throw the ball? It's going to be hard, but one thing I know the defensive does is try to get their hands up when he throws those short little passes to the running backs and tight ends. So I think it's a pretty good shot today that the uh, defense gets one. All right, question number three. This is a good one here. Christmas was on Friday. Which Colts player would you be most excited to be your secret Santa? Ken, your go. I think the Colts, uh, you can go with a lot of different answers with this one. I'm going with Jacoby Brissett. The Colts, Walter Payton, Man of the Year nomination. He's a great teammate, great uh, leader in the community. I think he, you know, if you land on his Christmas list, I think he's going to give great presents out to his teammates. And I think that uh, what a great guy to, to have around. The Colts love him. The fans love him. Teammates love him. So he'd be a great teammate to, uh, to give out some presents. All right, so you're going with Jacoby Brissett. Jacoby Brissett by Ken Dilber. That's who he's going with for the Secret Santa. What about you, Zach? Who are you going with, man? All right, I'm going with Ryan Kelly, and here's why. A year ago, and I'm in the Colts locker room, which seems like five years ago, Ryan Kelly had a big box, and I asked him, what, what is this? What's going on? And he said, well, I got my wife a, a Peloton for Christmas, and I thought, that's a pretty good gift. Mm -hmm. Now, if Ryan Kelly is my secret Santa, and he's got me on his Christmas list, and he's getting me a Peloton, that's my answer. So I'm going with that guy. I mean, I've got the proof. I've got past history of what gifts he's given out. That's not cheap, and that, that's a great gift from Ryan Kelly right there. Yeah, but those are to his, his wife, not his teammates. you got to figure out what he's going to give the teammates, <laughs> whether it's going to be a Rolex or a big screen TV or something. Yeah, but he just signed a huge, huge deal. He's the highest paid center in football. Let's hope he's going to splurge a little bit for his, uh, for his Christmas. You know, last time I checked, Brissett's making, what, $20 million, $15 million a year for a backup. He's got a lot of time to shop, too. 
All right, all right, all right. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. He only runs in when it's third and one or fourth and one. <laughs> That's right. Okay. So let's uh, let's bring in our, our producer for Cat Daddy Kickoff, Ross Bolin. He's here with us this morning. Uh, happy holidays to you, Ross. And um, you got your hands full again this week. Who are you going with, man? I do, and I got to eat some crow because Ken let me hear it all week long about Zach Pascal last week and how right he was. <laughs> And, let, and let's go right to it for this week. I, I understand Ken's pick, ride the hot hand. He, he got you what you needed to get last week with, with the two touchdown performance. But T.Y. Hilton's the answer for question number one. When you look at these two guys, they've combined seven games. They've led the team in receiving. T.Y. five of those games. Zach Pascoe only two. So I think Zach wins the first question. Question number two, I like Ken a little bit more because the last time Philip Rivers went four games without an interception was December of 2017. So I like Ken there, and it comes down to question three. AC, you and I both know how well Jacoby Brissett dresses, as we saw last, last year on the postgame show, and it's not good. I don't want him buying me any clothes, so I'm going with uh, Zach Kiefer this morning. All right, so Zach is the winner. He's the winner of head-to-head. -head. Zach, how you feeling, man? I like that answer, Ross. Not going with uh, Jacoby's closet. I, I didn't even think of that, but that's a whole <laughs> nother layer to this. Well done. <laughs> Oh, get, get, get the banana bread I out. Know. Merry Christmas, yeah, right? Get the banana bread out because you got to start sending to Ross to start picking you to uh, win these head-to-heads, okay? <laughs> All right, Zach, thank you. Ken, thank you as well.